This is Danielle at Dry Hall Homestead. I start videos and I don't say that all the time. I have to start over. So that's why I look a little exasperated sometimes. By the time I'm actually talking to you, I've said it like four times. So long story, short story long. I just got beef and we got a whole cow butchered. I was gonna show you what that looks like. Um, we will look at the table next. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when we get a whole beef processed. This um, butcher actually uh, puts it in very good sturdy boxes, which is so helpful. The last butcher we did, um, we've used this butcher twice, but the butcher before this, you had to take cooler, like lots of coolers to pick up your meat. And it was, that was kind of a hassle, but this is actually already frozen. Um, and it was always fresh, not frozen when we got it from our other butcher, but. So having them put these in the boxes is so helpful. And let's see, we got, this was one whole cow. This cow um, gave us 666 pounds of meat. Um, his hanging weight, I forget what it was, but that's different um, than how much beef you actually get from the cow. So let's see, I think about half was burger. So we have one whole box here of burger and I have them put it in two pounds. Uh, which is nice whenever you have something butchered you get the choice you can specify if you want it like how many pounds in roast and um, how many pound increments or whatever in um, ground beef I like two pounds because we have a big family and I never throw out one pound of ground burger I always do more so that's helpful so this is ground beef ground beef ground beef ground beef and then I think this was one more no this is a good stuff. So let's see this one two three four five it was six boxes of ground beef and um i know i was kind of complaining about having so much last time that was just because i needed to make room for this <laughs> and we ended up giving it away and i'm so glad we could be generous with it so now we are going to look at what else you get so this in itself if all you would get from paying a butcher and getting a meat processed if all you got was the ground beef it pays for itself the price um this if this ground beef is cheaper doing it this way than it would be if i went to the store and bought ground beef but in addition to that i paid the same amount for this ground beef as i did for per pound for a porterhouse steak yeah those are all porterhouses in there um, this is a Soylorin tip steak. Soylorin tip. What is that? Soylorin tip. I think this whole box might be Soylorin. Soylorin. T-bone. That's my husband's favorite. Flank steak. T-bone. Um, there was a skirt steak. T-bone. These are all the soup, the bones for soup. Um, I always ask to get these because... They are valuable when you make bone broth. And the marrow is still in this. So if you can get them cut, cross rods, you can get the marrow out. And that's really healthy too. And then here's my box. <laughs> Ribeyes. They're my favorite steaks. So I paid per pound the same for all of this as I would in the store for ground beef. And actually better than ground beef price. And then this has a lot of um, roast this has most of the roast in it so i did the math math and we just you always come out so much further ahead when you do it this bonus sir sirloin oh my goodness just so much good food for the price and yes it is a big chunk of money at first at the beginning when you're doing it but it saves you so much on your grocery bills. And eventually I'll get to the point where I'm showing you what we buy, what, like our grocery hauls or whatever you would call it, are. And they're so minimal because we have all this in our freezer. So now my job <laughs> is to fit this, this whole table, okay, this whole table. I don't know. Are you even able to see this whole table plus our little bench over here? into my freezer so I'm going to uh, take a shot of espresso obviously <laughs> and I'm gonna get started on this I'll show you what I get at the end but I suggest this 
for anyone who wants to be more prepared and self-sufficient this is just it's not self-sufficient but you know what i mean like you don't have to go to the grocery store every week um i always tell my husband i think that we could survive on our homestead maybe not thri well maybe thriving but like we could get by with what we have on our homestead for probably up to a year without feeling um, much pain <laughs> we wouldn't have the snacks we always like to pick up but we would have enough food no problem for a year and right here is proof yeah. <laughs> right here is for our family of seven this will last us at least one year this is beef for one year so now I'm gonna go put it all away wish me luck ta-da I made it fit that didn't take too long. I did have to put some of the roast into the white freezer. I just had a little bit of space in the white freezer. So I've even got my bones in here. This underneath is all ground beef. It's stacked up all the way to here and then right you know, all the way here. So here was the filet mignon. I didn't even show you guys that. Some chuck roast. I have the bones on top and then underneath it is, is the steaks and the roasts and um, things like the brisket. There's two brisket. I don't even know if I should the brisket. Yeah, it's underneath there. I can't get it out now. I'm not getting it out. <laughs> but um, the brisket last time we made into corned beef. Oh, it was so good. I didn't film it because we had never done it before. We weren't sure what was how it was gonna turn out, but it was awesome. And I will definitely be making it again. And when I do, I will bring you along. So. We did it guys, cheers. <laughs> we fit a whole cow in here. And then bonus is that you have all these empty boxes that your kids can make into forts. I don't really think this is a fort, I think it's a fortress. I think there's a battle, nerf battle going on. So I'm gonna go find myself some protection. Thank you so much for coming along with me and buying this whole beef and getting it in our freezer. If you have questions about that, put them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. Um, if you're trying to make a decision whether you um, it would be beneficial for your family to do that, I think it would. But God bless. I'll talk to you in the comments. I'll speak Jesus over you. Bye.